Hi guys, just a quick little video. Um, Monica asked um, if I'd show the basics of how I built up a cup. Um, I'm going to try to do that, but I haven't actually got a process that I can call a process going at the moment. It takes lots and lots of repeating before you can sort of claim that one. What I'll do is take you through um, what's still part of my trial and error, but this is how I've got to produce the ones that, that I have so far. Um, I've been doing just a stripe thing around the cup. And then I will come in and corrupt this with some alcohol in a minute just to give it a more an organic look. But um, this is sort of the closest thing to what I can claim is a process. Um, I do it with the brush. I've only just started doing it with the brush actually, but you know, with these cylinder forms, the ink just goes everywhere when you tip it. Um, I, I do the vases tipping, I sort of like doing that, but I, um, now that I've started doing it with the brushes, I don't know that I'd return to tipping because this sort of takes a little bit less messing around. Now, I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm going to use a couple of different pinky reddishes. Oh, it almost looks the same when it's down, doesn't it? That's not a good choice. Brush is awfully hard. Oh, I don't have anything really different within reach. Oh, I've got a really, really deep red. I might see if I can do that with one hand. No, why would I do it with one hand when I have two? Silly old chook. Oh, that's better. A little bit of variety. I'm actually going to crisscross the lines a bit too. Now, when once I start tipping stuff everywhere, it's not going to look anything like this. But you, you sort of got to do something, don't you, to get your inks down? So, and this is just the way I'm doing it. Integrate that crisscross and bring it through the blue and over the top. Although, once again, I'm forgetting lip lines. I really shouldn't build up any higher than that because we don't want to be resining up where your mouth's going to sit. purple to add to the interest a little when I put the hollow on it's going to be defying these straight lines as well so maybe this isn't even necessary but guess what I just love sitting here playing with them anyway Okay, I might put a little bit more blue in down here. Now, of course, I could be using all sorts of different blues and adding tips of this colour and this colour, but it's too unpredictable to do it on video. I mean, straightforward things go wrong 
all the time with alcoholic so I'll try not to complicate it more than I have to okay that's that's about all I'll do with the colors for now now I've diluted the hollow ink with some alcohol because we actually make it very pigment rich and for some things that looks quite nice but I'm discovering for a lot of things it's unnecessary and it is expensive um, and if you're going to get a nicer effect out of using it thin oh, that's clearly what you do what I have been doing is doing exactly what I'm doing here and then leaving them to sit while I go and do other things and coming back you know, an hour, two hours later and tipping some alcohol and hollow back on. I don't know if you can see it yet, but this lighter hollow really has a, a much nicer, almost angelic sort of look on the white ceramics so um, if you're going to be doing white ceramics putting oh gosh sorry I lost my train of thought because I just looked up at the camera and thought I don't know whether I've been working where you can actually see the cup and what I'm doing I might as well finish and we'll call this a, a trial video yes yeah, so what I was saying is I normally paint it up come back a couple of hours later and paint on some or actually drip on some alcohol or some of this really watered down hollow just to give it a more organic flow and to sort of mess those straight lines up a little bit because that's what I like but because we're doing a video I can't do that so I'm going to sort of dry it off a little bit and I'll have to have a little bit more respect for the for the alcohol because it's going to pull it away a lot more easily if it hasn't been sitting for a while and that's really true because I've I've done it both ways I I like the amount of setting that's done after an hour or two okay I'm just trying to see whether you can see this I really hope it's turned out so that you can now my alcohol I come in with it from just above that top line now keeping him all oh, it came out faster than I thought keeping in mind I will be coming in with some more hollow because that helps to sort of put the magic through but it may not look as though it's doing anything here because it likes to trick and around the other side of the cup I'll have a, a shock going on if I'm not careful now see how it's breaking up those lines yeah, there's a bit of my shock but those shocks often turn into really beautiful things worth keeping so a lot of serendipity serendipity involved in this now that bit at the top where I've gone over don't worry I'll be wiping it back to clean up a, a lip line but you can already see it's looking a little bit more organic just with a little bit of alcohol need to actually move my seat or I'm going to keep creeping back there where you can't see. Sorry. Oh, 
alcohol on the bit that doesn't matter. No gravity. He is drawing it to the back, see? Get quite a mess if I don't keep a watch on it. I'll just tap in those lines, the alcohol will make those look more organic too. Now at this point I'm going to put in a little bit more of the hollow. I'll let it flow. I have to watch it. If you put too much in and it thickens up, it, it loses some of its attractive qualities. I'm not happy with this, so I'm just going to put a little bit in there, a little bit in there, and just corrupt the lines a bit. Mm. 